to Bob Zellick to explain to us what this initiative means for millions of children in Latin America and the Caribbean. Well, thank you, Carl, and I want to thank uh, all of you for joining us this afternoon for the launch of this Early Childhood Initiative. Uh, Shakira, once every few months I try to hold an open forum and uh, maybe get about a tenth of the number of the people that you brought. Uh, but that's because people ask questions about pay and benefits and other aspects of uh, I realize that to most of the world that Shakira is famous for her music, and that's rightly so. But Shakira is also an advocate for children. So I want to thank her personally for her drive, her energy, her leadership, and her decency. For years, she's been working hard to help disadvantaged children throughout Latin America. Thanks to Shakira, poor children who live in slums can attend good schools, get nutritious meals, and be open to the world of art, music, and fitness. In 2006, Shakira and a group of influential artists, policy experts, and business leaders created Olivia's Foundation. Oz is going to shine a bright light on the urgent need for health, education, and nutritional programs for the more than 9 million children aged 5 or younger in Latin America and the Caribbean who suffer from chronic malnutrition. The World Bank Group shares this commitment to help the neediest children on our planet. So today, we're joining with us and with the York Institute at Columbia University to launch the Early Childhood Initiative and Investment for Life. Investments in early childhood development really are a lifetime investment. And here's why. 85% of our brains are wired by age five. But if in these critical early years, the child does not receive adequate nutrition and loving attention, his or her brain will not develop to the full potential. This can mean a lifetime loss of potential, because delays in early childhood are difficult or even impossible to reverse in later life. Would any of you want this done to your child? It's not fair. And just think of the lost opportunities of doctors, scientists, inventors, artists, contributors to business, agriculture, public service, Olympians, we talk of wasted resources or lost savings. Shouldn't we focus first on the resource for our children? So the World Bank Group is joining with Shakira, Alas, and the Earth Institute of Columbia University to launch the Early Childhood Initiative, Investment for Life. This initiative will provide increased financing for programs for prenatal care right after the transition to primary school. Invest in better nutrition for pregnant women babies, and young children. It will support training to help parents and caregivers to learn how to stimulate the development of young minds and prepare children for school. These early investments pay off. They mean more children staying in school, getting better grades, moving on to high school. These investments mean fewer children dropping out, getting in trouble, and turning to crime as they get older. Help your children grow into more productive adults. Investments in early childhood are not just the right thing to do, they're also the smart thing to do. In the first two years of the Early Childhood Initiative, the World Bank will contribute $300 million through grants and loans. We'll also assist countries to design and implement early childhood policies and programs. To test the work as we go, we'll also create an early childhood development learning community so people working on the front lines can share practical knowledge. And I'm particularly pleased that many of those doing work are here today to help us show what can be accomplished. They will be the ones who are the agents of change, so we're very proud to support them. The Early Childhood Initiative will also make it easier for countries to standardize their early childhood development programs and to learn from one another. The World Bank can contribute its global experience, sharing international evidence of what works and what doesn't. Just last week, we released a report the promise of early childhood development in Latin America and the Caribbean. And it draws together the latest research on why early childhood development programs are vital and what we know about making them more effective. In a few weeks, our board will be considering our very first project under this initiative, helping to train parents and caregivers of children.
children from birth to four in the poorest 172 municipalities in Mexico. The agreement we have just signed is just the first rallying cry. We need a coalition, bigger, more diverse, stretching beyond, that will mobilize public opinion, policies, and resources to give every young girl and boy a fair start. The World Bank has invested almost $1 billion in early childhood development in Latin America and the Caribbean since 1990. And this region has been at the forefront of innovations to deliver services more effectively with better results. Colombia, Shakira's home, has shown the way with a well-recognized care through families at home. Jamaica has a national strategy plan, partly financed by the World Bank, that integrates works across ministries, such as health and labor and finance, to fund parenting, nutrition, education, and income support. Yet there is much more to do. The proportion of poor children in some Latin American and Caribbean countries is over 40%. Governments need to empower families by making early childhood development a priority investment so as to promote inclusive growth and opportunity for all. With the global economic crisis squeezing the most vulnerable of all, this need is more urgent than ever. Look at Haiti. Reconstruction must involve more than buildings and infrastructure, as important as these are. Haiti's future will depend on its children, giving them an opportunity to grow. So we're partnering with the World Food Program to focus on nutrition and health for 100,000 Haitian children under age two, starting with a focus on the first three months. Through the World, World Health Organization and the Pan American Health Organization, we're financing care for pregnant women and lactating mothers, providing a package of services for children under the age of two. We'll leverage our existing partnership with the government of Haiti, UNICEF, UNESCO, and others, including Woody, Chile, you're in the audience here today, to highlight the needs of early childhood development in Haiti. All of us at the World Bank look forward to working closely with Alas and the Earth Institute in the months and years to come. So I thank you, Shakira, for making this happen, and we'll work at this with you to keep at it. I also want to thank the Earth Institute at Columbia University. Jeff Sachs, its director, could not come today, but I know from my conversations that he's impassioned about this challenge. We're delighted to have Rosanna Robinson of the Earth Institute here with us. And I want to thank all of you. Others in need face steep climbs, but many can make their own case. That babies and infants and young children are dependent on others, and they're depending on you. By putting children first, we take the first steps towards opportunity and hope for all. So thank you for coming. Thank you, Shakira.